Side hustles have grown to become quite popular these days. Everyone is talking about them. The truth is that we are all tired of being limited by a single salary source that only increases a tiny bit after a few years. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to live life on your own terms financially? Go where you want and buy what you want. Whilst that may not even be your goal for having a side hustle, having some extra cash is not a bad idea. Considering the fact that the average salary of a US worker is around $56,000, earning $100,000 or more from a side hustle may sound too good to be true. But as you will see from this video, it's possible to make 100 k from a side hustle. A few people are doing it and you can too. Without further ado, here are 6 side hustles that can make you 100 k a year. Number 1. Create a YouTube channel Don't get me wrong, creating a YouTube channel and churning out videos every day does not automatically make you a top earner. There are over 31 million YouTube channels worldwide and I can intuitively say that over 90% of these channels are struggling to survive. A 2018 study from Germany confirms this claim, stating that 96.5% of all YouTubers won't make enough revenue to surpass the poverty line in the US. On the flip side, there are YouTubers who are steadily raking in millions of dollars every year. By the end of 2019, 8-year-old Ryan Kaji was the highest paid YouTuber in the world, making around $26 million. And guess what his channel does? Unboxing of toys on camera. Dude Perfect, which is made up of five friends in their 30s, made around $20 million in 2019 from performing stunts and breaking Guinness World Records on YouTube. Sounds easy, right? This is where a lot of YouTubers and content creators miss it. Whilst creating content may seem easy on the surface, it actually takes a lot of commitment, dedication, and creativity to churn out engaging videos on a regular basis. And I must say, this is incredibly difficult. Creating one video is not going to earn you $100,000. Neither will 10 or even 100. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to make it to the top 3%. Once you have your content figured out and you are able to upload new content regularly, the next step is to monetize your channel. Most people try to monetize their channels without dealing with content creation first. Don't expect any sponsors or ads on your channel if you don't have a significant audience. Talking about monetizing your site, don't depend on only Google AdSense. Some of the biggest YouTube stars like Jake Paul and Jeffree Star sell their own products. If possible, come up with products that you can sell. Makeup, t-shirts, courses, or fan gear. Think of something. You can also consider paid sponsorship and free merchandise. Number 2. Instagram Influencer If you are on Instagram, odds are that you've come across posts like The Newest Restaurant You Must Try or My Ultimate Protein Powder Mix from someone you follow. In most cases, these people have a remarkable number of followers. What you may not know is that your favorite Instagram celebrity is being paid to endorse these products. These influencers, as we like to call them, have created a digital empire from snapping semi-filtered shots on one hand while promoting companies on the other. Trust me, it pays to be popular and these influencers draw their credibility from an influx of social engagement. Just like YouTubing, it is possible to make a 100k by becoming an Instagram influencer. Data suggests that influencers with less than 10,000 followers make around $88 per sponsored post. Those with under 100,000 followers average $200 per post, and those with 500,000 to 1 million followers make $670 per post. To become an Instagram influencer, you need to commit yourself to build a solid brand. Don't just engage in social media for the fun of it, posting only when you feel like it. Chances are that you are going to succeed if you approach it like a business. To grow your Instagram side hustle, you need to start by choosing a niche. Proceed to create high quality posts, stick to a design theme, commit to a consistent posting schedule, engage as much as possible and collaborate with other influencers. Number three, create an app. There's no denying it, apps are big business. By the end of 2020, the global mobile app revenue is expected to exceed $188 billion. This is more than a 200% increase from 2016. Along with these interesting stats is the potential to earn millions of dollars or maybe $100,000 every year from creating an app. Do you know that there are over 3 million apps on both Apple App Store and Google Play Store? Apps have grown to become part of our everyday lives, from fitness apps to dating apps, instant messaging apps, news and social media apps, and of course, gaming apps. There is literally an app for everything you can think of. Now, before you discard this idea claiming that you are not an app developer, 
It's very easy to hire a professional app developer to get things started. Depending on how complex your idea is, you should expect to spend a few hundred or thousands of dollars to build an app. To keep you interested and inspired, do you know that Epic Games Fortnite made about $1.9 million in daily revenue in April 2018? Candy Crush Saga was raking in about $1.3 million every day through in-app purchases. So, if you have the means and lack the time or technical know-how, you may want to consider hiring a developer to turn your idea into a potential cash cow. In addition to charging an upfront fee for app downloads, most free apps make a lot of money from in-app purchases. Personally, I've spent some couple of dollars on in-app purchases while gaming. Number 4. Social Media Management This is one of my personal favorites because I've earned a couple of hundreds of dollars as a social media manager. Let's face it, we live in a digital age and nearly everyone, including business owners, has one or more social media accounts. With social media, individuals and businesses can now connect on a much wider scale and network with amazing minds from across the globe. Whilst it has become more or less cliché that having a strong social media presence is essential to growing a business, many business owners are caught between managing the day-to-day -day activities of their business and staying current on social media. Some don't even know what to do. And this is where social media management comes in. You can charge a premium to make some big bucks if you know how to harness the power of these platforms to help businesses attract more customers, leads, and sales. Making $100,000 from social media management is no easy feat. However, it is very possible. You need to be very good at what you do. Start by picking a platform and learning everything there is to know about that platform. Spreading yourself too thin can be bad for business. Instead of trying to be a jack of all trades, focus on becoming an expert in two or three platforms. This way, you can create a cohesive brand that stands out and can scale up as you get better. I have also discovered that these tricks work well in social media management, as long as you know your onions. Charge a monthly retainer fee of $1,000. Having 10 clients who pay you $1,000 a month to manage their social media pages will see you exceeding the 100k benchmark by the end of the year. Retainers are especially great because they help you forecast your income. This model also offers better stability and helps you build long-term relationships. Don't ever try to sell yourself short. Whilst it is a nice idea to start with a lesser fee to build your portfolio if you are just starting, be sure that your fees reflect the value you are providing. Charging a setup fee, taking a percentage from every sale you help the brand generate, and promoting high profit margin products are some of the best ways to reach the 100k benchmark. Number 5. Flip Real Estate The fifth side hustle that can make you up to 100k a year is flipping of real estate. The basic idea behind house flipping is buying properties cheaply, renovating them, and then selling them high. The number of houses you will need to flip to reach the 100k benchmark depends on the type of houses you are flipping, as well as how much you are making from each flip. To reach 100k, here are some basic profit numbers you will need to hit. Flip one house with a 100k profit. Flip five houses with a 25k profit each. Flip 10 houses with a 10k profit each, or flip 20 houses with 5k profit each. When broken down into smaller, more actionable units, it becomes easier to see how possible it is to make a 100k every year from flipping real estate. Before you think that you could easily make 100k from flipping houses, hold that thought. Flipping houses is far from simple. Most people don't tell you that you have to work crazy hard to make real money. Finding the right properties to flip takes experience and is somewhat a gamble at first. There are times when you may even incur losses on your properties. On average, you can make $20,000 to $30,000 in profits from every successful flip. Flipping one house every two months is enough to help you earn hundred k by the end of the year. Unlike starting a YouTube channel or becoming an Instagram influencer, entering the real estate industry requires a lot of money. The first expense you will be faced with is the acquisition cost, which can run into several hundreds of thousands. You must also factor in renovation costs and the cost of holding the property. Knowing how to fix some things yourself will come in really handy in keeping renovation costs low. In general, you need to know how to pick the right property, in the right location, and at the right place. Number 6. Professional Photography To wrap up this list, we have professional photography. The keyword here is professional. Following the advent of smartphones, everyone has turned into a photographer. From taking selfies to portraits on iPhones, retouching photos, and using Instagram filters, virtually everyone has turned into a photographer today. There is now something called mobile photography as a matter of fact. 
and manufacturers are now designing tools to take mobile photography to the next level. This is, however, not what I'm talking about. As a professional photographer, you should understand that taking fairly decent photos on a mobile phone does not make a picture good, and will not earn you 100k. There are several ways to make 100k from professional photography, some of which include submitting your photos to stock libraries, becoming a wedding or event photographer, delving into magazine photography or photojournalism, or by simply teaching photography. In the US, the average charge of a wedding photographer is around $2,800. If you're able to build yourself to the point where you charge $2,500 per event, and you get booked every Saturday, you will be able to make 100 k from photography. In summary, growing your side hustle to a point where you make $10,000 or more from it every month is not easy. Do not believe anybody that tells you it is. If you go in with a mindset that you will have a smooth sale and start earning 100 k in a few months, you will be disappointed. I like to think of the side hustles on this list like a business. You will need to nurture it, be serious with it, and be patient with it. We all start with zero followers, zero page views, and zero ratings. But with dedication and consistent work, you'll be able to reach your financial goals. If you've learned a thing or two from this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and leave a comment below.